Well, for those of you that heard, of course this video will go on forever, um, but this is uh, late October 2015, and Houston is getting rain, 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 rain. Well, I mean, you can see my backyard. <laughs> it hasn't rained for about three months, and then it rains about a foot. So, anyway, I got some absolutely necessary beekeeping work that has to be done. This is the cutout that I just did, finished up yesterday morning, and uh, now I've got to open the box back up and get in there and pull off the screen boxes. I just loosened the lid. You see the bees are pouring out because they've been trapped in there for about 24 hours now. Um, they're all flying out, wanting to just fly around and stretch their wings. Of course, they fly out in the rain and then they come back. But, you know, I was going to show you what I did. I rigged up this blue tarp. This is a Harbor Freight canopy. Just bought it last night. Used a little bit of the money that I made on the beer removal to buy a canopy, so that's always nice reinvesting there. But uh, anyway, it's keeping the rain from falling directly on my head, but it's all around. And it'll let me get in here and check the bees without rain falling in the beehive as well. So for right now, I've just loosened the lid. I'm going to let them just keep pouring out, stretching the wings, flying around, do what they do. Um, I really don't think they're trying to abscond right away. You know, they're just trying to get out and get a, get a fresh breath. So anyway, let me go grab my suit and put it on just because with it being rainy like this, they're, they're real crawly. They want to fly out and then land on me. That's really frustrating. So I'm going to at least go put a veil on just to keep them off my face and ears. Yesterday, they drove me nuts doing that. And then we'll pop in there and get it opened up and see what we can do. Just had an interesting development here working under the tarp, and that is a cluster forming because they're all flying out and up, and then they start to pile up on the highest point. So it's actually not all that bad of a thing, except that the cluster keeps collapsing and keeps dropping bees on top of me. But uh, just a little tip what I'm doing here after setting up after this cutout. When you dump the bees out of your vac box, at least for me, I usually have some dead ones in the bottom. Whether those are dead ones that I vacuumed up, which in this case I really think they work because I vacuumed a lot of dead bees off the windowsill. Um, and that's really not a whole lot of dead compared to some of the things before. Um, if you just dump your vac box out into the hive, all those dead bees and all that debris falls into the hive. And bees, uh, much like people, don't like the smell of other dead bees around. So um, I try not to dump all that trash into the hive. If the hive is open to where they can start carrying it out, okay. But I've got these bees screened in to make sure they stick around. Mm -hmm. Looks really good, actually. They were covering the frames really good, so that makes me happy. The only question now is, is my queen down in the box? Or is she up there with that cluster? So I'm going to go ahead and shake off this debris. She's not here. So we'll dump all this debris to the side, let the bees get out of it. And then I'm just going to reach up here with my hand and just knock some of these down and uh, into the box. But I think they're, I hope, I hope, I think they're going to stick around. Um, but let me just get her cleaned up here and I'll be done. Well, so in the end, I had to make an adjustment. Uh, I came out here to check again. There's a huge cluster of bees, probably two pounds of bees, hanging off the inside of the peak there. I had moved it over to the side, so the canopy was right beside the hive. That's our hive right there in the middle. Um, I'd moved it to the side, hoping they would fly down off that peak and back into the box, but they instead were continuing to gather up in the peak. So just now, I moved it back over to the center of the hive, gave it a real good shake, and then flipped it over as quick as I could here on the ground. You can see we've got about a dozen bees left crawling around in there, and they are quickly dispersing. Uh, I'm going to flip this back upright so it doesn't fill with rain like a bowl. Um, but the bees, you can see now, are very quickly gathering up on top of the hive where they need to be. That's what I want them to do. I want them to get back inside. I've left the top lid open a little bit so they, they can get in and out easy. Um, but, you know, they're still protected from the weather. So I'm going to go slide that lid forward a little bit just to keep any more. I think the rain is supposed to be just about passed by now. I'm going to go slide that forward just to make sure. But you can see they're quickly getting back on the box and going inside. So. Here's hoping they stick around, another, another big colony and, and hopefully a continuation of my winning streak on keeping these cutouts around. 